Dan Chanel. that I came out to that song in the first place. I mean, can you think of a more inappropriate song to come out to in a comedy club? All about the Benjamins? That's like playing fucking Marilyn Manson at a church. That is fucked up. Nobody here is making Benjamins. The only thing that's all about the Benjamins here tonight is the $12 cover and the two drink fucking minimum. Everybody here right now wishes that there wasn't a two drink minimum. There should be a guy right now in the back scalping fucking two dollar Bud Lights. Like yo, <laughs> opens his trench coat. I got two dollar bottles of Bud Light right here. The guy would make a fucking kill. Holy shit, this world is upside down. A chubby white guy coming out to all about the Benjamins? That is fucked up. The most expensive thing I have in my fucking wallet is a Metro card. That shit ain't even a fun pass. I don't know if I can get home. This world is fucking upside down, man. This world is upside down. And I noticed, like, I have a niece you know? And I was babysitting her the other day. And I noticed like everything today has to have an educational value to it. When I was a kid, nothing had an educational value to it. For, shut the fuck up. I didn't even tell my joke yet. Shut the fuck up. First of all, does anybody remember the game Crossfire? Crossfire! I was so fucking excited when I bought that game. I thought when I opened the box, a ball of fire was going to shoot out of it. There was going to be like a laser light show in my basement. None of that shit happened. It was just 20 metal balls that you shot back and forth between you and your friend. That's what she said. But like, that's what it was. That's exactly what it was. I was fucking disappointed. Hungry Hungry Hippo, does anybody remember that game? Disappointed as well. Zero educational value. All that game did for me was remind me, Hungry Hungry Hippos, of eating dinner with my parents. Just sliding the table towards them. My food, my food, my food! This is fucking weird. Everything today is so fucking weird. TV shows. TV shows when we were kids were so fucking weird. All right, let's talk about it. Uh, Bert and Ernie. Anybody? <laughs> Basically about watching another guy in the bathtub. I know there's been a lot of gay comics, but listen, it's weird. Then what else do we got? We got, uh, I don't even want to get into fucking Mr. Rogers. I told my brothers when I was eight years old, I was like, I gotta go home, I can't play Taken, I gotta watch Mr. Rogers. They're like, Mr. Rogers is a gay. I'm like, really, what's that? Shaped my life. But honestly, I think comp, like, as far as, like, TV shows, it's gotten a lot better since I was a kid. Little People, Big World. Anybody watch that show? TLC? How Little People, Big World is on TLC is fucking crazy. To me, that show should be on Comedy Central. It's got to be the funniest show on TV. When that little fucker tries to operate the big machinery with his stilts on. 
I'm like, seriously? Nine o'clock on TLC? That's gotta be on Comedy Central. That's funnier than half the shit I watch. This world is so fucked up, man. This world is so fu- A fat white kid coming out to all about the Benjamins? Holy shit! If Diddy was here, he'd shank me in a heartbeat. You're never gonna be on Bad Boys of Comedy, shank. So I come out, you know, I'm having fun, and I gotta be honest with you, like, this whole world is so fucked up. I just graduated from college. You know, it's cool. <laughs> you guys are real fucking happy about it. My parents are like, fuck you, asshole, where's the rent? <laughs> just graduated a little while ago. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm looking, Craigslist is a bitch. This, what, whatever, we all know how that goes. But like, I, one thing I've come to notice, hot sauce! One thing I've come to notice, is how New York girls at bars are completely different than girls in college. I walk into a bar and I keep having the same conversation like, you mean you're not here to get blackout drunk? No, I have, I have an interview in the morning, so you know, I'm just networking. What the fuck does that mean? All right, I'm gonna go over here and get blackout drunk then. And then, you know, See, I just broke up with my girlfriend a little while ago. Yeah. Single. <laughs> so I just broke up with my girlfriend a little while ago. And I'm like one of those old dads whose wife died. I don't really know how to get back into the dating game. Like sleepless in Seattle. You know, little kid. Noah, help me out. It's like that. So, you know, I'm not really sure how to get back into the dating game. Plus, like... You know, I don't know how to just go out to a bar for a drink without getting blackout drunk. I don't have $150 to take a girl out for a nice bite to eat. Plus, I'm not 17 years old anymore, so I can't take it to fucking chili, so I don't know what to do. So I just rely on one-night stands. 